Hello my lovely people, boys and girls, welcome to my holiday addict channel. My name is Marina and I'm here to take you through another walk around of another beautiful city I had a chance to visit. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video and I try to encourage you to actively participate by leaving a comment. Well, today is my first day in Gdansk and my hair looks awful because it was pouring down rain until about 20 minutes ago so I'm hoping for a better weather funny enough if you search in Google it's showing 22 degrees and sunshine it doesn't show rain at all so I have very high hopes for the next two days because after that I have to go home and I really really want to see Gdansk in sunshine Welcome to Gdansk, a captivating city with a story that stretched back over a thousand years. Poland's Baltic seaside city of Gdansk has sat in the background for years, is one of the most underrated cities in Europe. For a long time, the sleeping giant went unnoticed, until recently when the city suddenly became hugely popular with tourists. Like a phoenix, Gdansk not only rose from the post-war ashes, but did it beautifully. Even with a rich imagination, it is difficult to see that the main pedestrian streets of Dansk, the colorful, bright and bustling royal route, once lay in ruins. So join me on this journey of discovery as I uncover the magic of Gdansk, a city that celebrates its past, embraces its present and look forward to an exciting future. Great Armory was designed by Flemish architect and it's the most impressive and the finest example of Renaissance architecture in the city. The Armory was badly damaged in World War II and had to be completely rebuilt. It's only in recent years that it was regained its former glory, following a spell during which it even was a supermarket. By the way, when you're standing out in front of the building, look closely and you just might see the horny lion. Amber here everywhere as well because we're still on the Baltic Sea and any Baltic region it's all about amber. It's My room. I book it through the booking.com. I don't advertise it, it's just uh, because I have good discounts from there. I use it. And this room, pri I think it's a private rent and it's really, really nice. I show look, it's up to four people, have sofa beds, you know, comfortably. I'm on my own, but comfortably will be four people living here. You stay and view from here from my room because i'm right in the middle of town center i'm five minutes walk from anything around look at this view not many four or five star hotel can provide view like this but i have these beautiful views it it is a little bit noisy at night, but this is what you expect when you smack bang in the middle of the town. But despite all this, this room has only 7 out of 10 rating on the TripAdvisor. Why it is? And I explain you why and I find out and this such a small things and by such a weird. First of all, the really making facilities here. But look, no spoons, no sugar. You can't even mix your coffee if you put in. Please, can you put at least one spoon and maybe one sugar? Another thing, have you noticed something? 
I show you every wall or lack of something. No, not the wardrobe. Wardrobe is right here. It's right here. Mirror. This room has no mirror. You cannot brush your hair, you cannot put makeup on, you cannot look at yourself before you leave because there is no mirror. You say, okay, bathroom has a mirror. You're right, bathroom does has a mirror. But, look at this. This is what I can see in the mirror. Just at top of my hand because it's so high. I cannot understand why did they put it so high. And this, I'm not very short, I'm not a tall person, but I'm not too short, but what if man, not tall man, short man, not very tall, want to have a shave? How can you do this? Honestly, put mirror. And another thing, there is no TV here. It's not a huge thing, not a huge thing. You're not coming on holiday to watch TV, but sometimes it's nice to put this as a background. Especially if I'm on my own, I feel re I have to put my music on, on my phone and it's not a big problem, but still. Sometimes I like to put local music channels and see what kind of music people like and listen. So, don't worry about TV, but put spoons, sugar and a mirror. So, unfortunately, 7 out of 10 for me too. But if those two things would be here, 10 out of 10. This is a golden gate, but knowing my luck, of course it's under renovation. And here, well, the royal route is starting. Because when the Polish kings was visiting Dansk, this is the route they used to take. This is the main street in Gdansk, and look at the buildings here. How wonderful they are. Look at these paintings. There is a lot of effort to recreate how it used to look before. So all this was recreated from the pictures, from the photographs, from some films which was left over after the Second World War because there was nothing left. Dance was really, really heavily bombed. And if you see all these flags here and here, because this is a royal route. Have you noticed that buildings, look, they're not in a straight line, they're sort of like a wave. You especially can see it from this side how wavy these buildings are. this this is like building attached to the building I, I walk with some Polish people and they said to me you would love Gdańsk when I told them I'm going to Russia through Gdańsk they said stay there for a few days it's beautiful but they didn't expect it to be that beautiful 
these buildings, they're just so wonderful. Quite light, man, and it goes around two floors. And the amount of restaurants, bars, and all sorts of uh, eateries, it's just amazing. They all have people in. They're not packed, packed. And this is a restaurant called Kubichi or Kubichi. Don't know how to pronounce it correctly. But the point is, this is the oldest restaurant in Gdansk, and it survived World War II and the Soviet times. That restaurant looked really nice. It looks really fancy. It's one of those places where you go with your partner, husband, girlfriend, boyfriend, even just a friend. And don't get me wrong, I really, really like holiday on my own. I'm the only child, I actually like to be by myself, but when you travel around and you're having a lovely meal, glass of wine, it's really nice to have someone next to you to share their experience. And a lot of trips I do lately on my own, only because I have to go to Russia. And I, my husband can't be bothered because it's too much hassle to get the visa to Russia and it's really expensive. And he's always worried something happened, he gets stuck there. And same to my friends, if they go by themselves, but my best friend, she's, even she's Russian, she doesn't have a Russian passport. So again, she has to do visa. So when I go, I go on my own. But if you have someone, take them with you and share that experience. Everywhere I go lately, they renovate everything. I mean, look, again, renovation. Every hour they do excursions on this pirate ship, which is called Black Pearl. I hope it's some sort of legend coming with it, because otherwise it's not a very original name, is it? With its close proximity to the sea, Gdansk has always had a strong maritime identity. The shipyards here played a crucial role in the history of Poland. In 2020, a new pedestrian bridge over River Matlava between Old City and Granary Island in the heart of Gdansk has been opened. I think it's rather nicely designed and it's an attraction itself to watch it spinning around. has been completely changed but I have to say they're doing a very good job to bring in modern building to all this old environment because even the brand new like look this finished one and this finished one they kept the shape they kept the style obviously it's you can see it's a modern one but it does not look bad and it doesn't look out of place Except that that holiday inn, not a very good one. because they have a largest collection of beer in Gdansk. They also have a 
beer, which is considered to be the king of all beers. And for century, the recipe was lost for that beer, and they only recreated by Danish in 90s. And you can try that beer here. So the name of that king of beers is Havelius Caper. Behind me is uh, St. Mary Basilica. It's not the most amazing looking church inside, not most beautiful, but it has apparently more red bricks than any other church in the world. So, and you can go on top, but be prepared. You will spend more time going up and down than actually on the platform itself. Views are beautiful, but platform is really tiny. And it's just over three pounds to get in. If you look up to the ceiling of the church, you will see some hole on the white background. Here and there you see gold stars, however, there are a lot of black holes where there are stars missing. So what's the point? If you donate enough money to the church, you will get a star up in your honor. There is no information what kind of amount you need to donate to get your star, but our tour guide says it's at least 2,000 euros. Another thing that St. Mary Church is famous for is the astronomical clock. Today it's still one of the largest astronomical wooden clocks in the world. Oh, at least this one is not steep. I've done 158 steps so far, but this one will be much easier. I've done 300 steps and I'm not even halfway up. So this one is not for faint-hearted. So this is how 300 steps look. Look, I still have to go all the way up. Oh. I'm a little bit regretting this decision. For sure, it's a very long climb. But in the end, you will be rewarded with a magnificent view of Dansk. Be a gate, but they put windows and make an apartment. But it's so look how narrow. And there you have it, my lovely people, the fascinating tale of Dansk, a city that starts as a testament to resilience, history, and the human spirit. Its warm and welcoming atmosphere is sure to leave a lasting impression on all who visit. If that is not yet on your list of cities to see before you die, then it should be. As I wrap up this video, I want to extend my deepest gratitude to each and every one of you who joined me on this virtual exploration. If you enjoyed this adventure through Gdansk's cobblestone streets and magnificent architecture, be sure here to hit that like button subscribe to my channel and share it with fellow travel enthusiasts. And remember, the world is full of hidden gems like Dansk waiting to be discovered. So tomorrow I'm off to see Sopot, which resorts not far from Gdansk. Be sure to check that video too, it will be out shortly, so don't forget to ring that notification bell to stay updated on my latest adventures. Do vidzenia for now!